Hey guys, what's up? There wasn't any videos for a few days, I know, but we had Easter, yeah, Easter, and I spent my Easter having really, really big, big fun with my friends and family. Mm, so, now just a very, very short video for you with some new informations I will start new series with game Call of Duty 4 if you don't like this game or don't want to watch it then just leave this series and keep watching uh, Castle Clash I, will, I won't stop doing videos about Castle Clash and now Arena uh, trying to change Scorpy and I was so surprised it was just a normal double pumpkin duke proc let's take a look it was my first attempt with challenging him very lucky because his setup was in the middle now pumpkin duke proc second time and watch how fast his shrine is getting destroyed now let's take a look again watching my Three DPS heroes walking in open lane. There's Ninja, Druid, which is faster than Ninja, which what is very very amazing thing. And see how fast they are hitting. So big DPS. Oh, with only three heroes. Mm, let's take a look and spend my two last chances for arena as always I'm putting thunder god and pumpkin in the middle and I'm getting very lucky oh very strong pumpkin duke with sprint that's very amazing talent for him on arena but sadly not for not for boss fights ever dungeons and traits because he's going to run faster and he'll be targeted so he's going to die mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's try again. Now I'm hoping for a heavy blow from my Pumpkin Duke or Thunder God proc. Oh, that's another guy. I haven't noticed that something changed on Arena with my enemies, but let's take a look on DPS. He has better title than I have and maybe I will win, but I'm not sure so close I should win but I'm always putting my uh, pumpkin nook at the back of the circle so he will be targeted after thunder god pro this is something really amazing a great combination mm. Oh, we'll have new chance in 30 seconds. As you can see, something new from my base. I've got all vaults at 15 level. I'm preparing my base to get 6 hero base. I'm also upgrading hammer dwarves because I want to get savage ogre. They might be very good in dungeons or raids. I hope so. And now all my builders are working on on gold mines. Yeah, I have a big problem with gold because in raids every opponent has empty gold vaults. This is very annoying. You cannot buy spells. You cannot do dungeons. You cannot get shards. Mm -hmm. So after upgrading few levels of each gold vault, uh, gold mine I mean I receive much more gold than before 
as you can see I have some uh, gold for for spells I'm still saving my shirts for Punky Duke 7 of 9 let's take a look in Heroes Alto and there we've got some really nice shirts four and a half thousand and I've got the three heavy monsters let's try dungeon 8 school 11 I'm not always winning this dungeon because everything depends on luck how my heroes split and if my pumpkin duke won't die I don't like to use troops because I have to deploy them all the time they, are, they like to die and let's see I won't be lucky yeah I won't be lucky spirit match stayed alive it's very annoying of course I can start this dungeon from bot uh, from top but it's much harder because then everything depends on Thundercut proc so when I will switch my heroes to Immortep even if he has only sprint talent not the best only 2 of 5 I will level him up but I will do this after getting my Thunder God 8 star. Yeah, I need less than 30,000 honor badges, which will take me something like 3 days to get it. Yeah, I'm earning a lot of honor badges from boss fights. We are farming boss free, and I'm always on 3rd or 4th place in my guild. Gabexi has a Cupid with 5-5 five, five Vitalize, very lucky guy. Mehdi has some 5-5 five, five Heavy Blow heroes. And of course great Cupid, Pumpkin Duke and Champion. Mm, and Brico has very strong heroes. Brico probably has the strongest heroes in guild together with Mehdi. I'm not sure, let's take a look on his base. 25,000 might. And mm, I cannot see his heroes levels now. But together with Mehdi, he has the strongest uh, heroes in guild. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now we can try again. This guy. Oh, someone is challenging me. Let's take a look. He was going for DPS with low level heroes, but his Pumpkin Duke has 5 5 right allies. What is probably the best talent for Pumpkin Duke? Or other best talent for Pumpkin Duke is, of course, Berserk. But as you can see in DPS, I'm winning. And second try, I haven't lost. We'll take a look on it after challenging this guy. And I'm sure that I will win. I'm going to win this. As always, Thunder got procced, then he will proc second time. Maybe Pumpkin Duke will make a double proc. No. There wasn't a double pumpkin pork, but I'm still going to win. I just have to wait for second succubus proc. Even fool, she's only three of nine. She's a beast on arena. When I will level her skill up to four of nine, then she'll be amazing. So, first thing. I am saving for my pumpkin nuke. I need in general 10,000 shirts, but uh, I, you have to notice that I receive a daily rewards with some sacrifice heroes, and some shirts from my title, and it's going very, very fast. So, so I will need just. I think 10 days 
or maybe less to get his talent up and I think that's all for today and uh, stay tuned for everything what I will upload some new series from other games especially PC games and have also to notice that my laptop is not the best I have only dual core 2.2 gigahertz and 4 giga memory of RAM and graphic card GeForce 610 uh, it's of course mobile version of graphic card because I have a laptop so it's not the best and not the worst so so uh, I still can play some old games um, which were released few years ago so like this video subscribe comment because I'm waiting for your comments I will of course answer and see you soon.